everyone thinks that to get speed you only need long strides but the real secret lies in stride frequency imagine two sprinters on the track one tall and powerful the other shorter but quicker the tall sprinter pulls ahead easily but the shorter one doesn't subing tian found the solution to this challenge and unlocked the secret of frequency he overcame his physical limitations optimized his neural system and body mechanics and became a world class sprinter su didn't just train his leg he trained his brain and nervous system too so that every muscle fiber could fire in perfect timing and achieve lightning fast turnover today i'll show you his journey along with the drills tricks and strategies that can take your sprinting speed and step rate to the next level if you also want to improve your speed and frequency watch this video till the end Imagine two sprinters standing in front of you. One is Usain Bolt with world class height and length. The other is Su Bingtian who is comparatively shorter. Bolt's long strides naturally give him the advantage of stride length, but Su for him that advantage didn't exist. And that's where Su's real question began. If his stride length was shorter, how could he run alongside the world's best sprinters? The solution was found in frequency. Tu and his team realized that he had a natural weapon frequency meaning despite being shorter he could put his feet on the ground more times that is more steps per second this became his secret around 2017 su built his entire strategy on this high step rate reduced flight time and greater control on the ground but then came the problem increasing frequency sounds easy but it comes with a trap if you only increase the number of steps without generating force improvement stops at a certain stage yes your move moving your feet faster but those steps aren't producing enough power and that's exactly what happened with su his frequency was very high but the power that should come with that frequency wasn't enough it's like twisting a bike's accelerator to the max but the engine has no fuel the speed just won't come When Subin Ken was working on his high step rate strategy, he quickly realized that just moving his legs faster wasn't enough. His coach and the Altis team noticed that unless the body and nervous system worked together in harmony, his frequency would hit a limit very quickly. Su's body mechanics, arms, legs and trunk all had to coordinate as one unit. The Altis concept describes this like an orchestra. Legs, arms and trunk are the instruments and the nervous system is the conductor. If the conductor doesn't give the right timing the instruments won't play in the right sequence in the same way only when the cns central nervous system fires the right motor units at the right moment can su achieve such rapid turnover along with this the team focused heavily on ground contact time in su's drills they measured how much spring like return each touch with the ground produced this is the true secret of frequency short contact time but controlled force if you just move your feet quickly without generating power your speed won't improve another key factor was ankle stiffness su's team found that the ankles shouldn't be rigid but spring like through bounding pogo jumps and ankle strength exercises they increased his stiffness the result he could apply more horizontal force in less time which further enhanced his frequency then came coordination and neural timing the swing of the arms stability of the trunk and turnover of the legs all had to be in perfect rhythm a faster arm cadence naturally drove the legs to move quicker while neural drills like starter gun sprints or light cue sprints trained his brain and cns to fire in high speed mode so when su lines up on the track and the gun fires his legs strike the ground rapidly his ankles behave like springs his arms swing in perfect sync and his brain instantly at just on every step the result a frequency so high that he could challenge even world record contenders In phase 1 and 2, Su had already understood the base of frequency and body brain coordination, but understanding alone wasn't enough. Now what he needed was a training strategy, one that could maximize his frequency while keeping force and stride length in balance. Su and his coach didn't just focus on heavy lifting in the gym. Their priority was to increase force production so that every step could push off the ground with more power. Squats and Romanian deadlift built a strong posterior chain, while explosive medicine 
Jason Ball throws improved the contribution of his core and arms. The direct result, his steps weren't just fast anymore. They were also powerful, helping him sustain those high frequency strides. Alongside this, he began ankle stiffness drills, bounding, pogo jumps, and quick jump variations turned his ankles into springs. With each ground contact, energy was stored and then released into the next step. Sue was now touching and releasing the ground like a perfectly tuned spring. This efficiency was the key to enabling his high frequency step, but frequency and stiffness alone weren't enough. Sue gradually increased his stride length while maintaining frequency. Each step was now both powerful and quick. This balance is what transformed him into an elite sprinter, speed and precision working together. The result of this structured approach was clear. Sue was no longer just the fast step guy. With a perfect combination of high frequency, optimized force and stride length, he clogged 9.83 seconds in the 100 meters, setting the Asian record and cementing his place on the world stage as an elite sprinter. In phase 3, Sue had already optimized his frequency through body mechanics and training drills. But at the elite level, the real difference came from the brain and nervous system. Sue realized that even if the muscles are ready, without the brain sending signals quickly enough, increasing frequency is nearly impossible. That's the true power of the central nervous system, CNS. Sue incorporated neural drills into his daily training. Reaction drills with starter guns and random cues trained his brain to instantly respond to unpredictable signals. Imagine the gun firing on the track. The brain sends signals instantly. Fast twitch fibers fire at high speed and the legs turn over immediately. He also practiced high cadence metronome sprints. These drills forced the body and brain to adapt to a specific tempo, making the timing of every step precise, like a drummer maintaining flawless rhythm on a metronome beat. To push things further, random light cue starts challenged his neural pathways. His brain learned to react to unpredictable cues, reducing reaction time Time and helping him maintain frequency even under pressure. Through this combination of drills, Sue's muscles didn't just become faster. They began to fire in the right sequence. The direct impact was clear. His stride frequency hit its peak. Flight time and ground contact time came into perfect balance and every step became more efficient. Su Bingtian's journey shows us that frequency isn't just about moving your legs faster. It's about the perfect coordination of body and brain. His team monitored his stride frequency, ground contact time, and stride length every year. In 2017, his focus was mainly on a high step rate, which boosted frequency but limited force and stride length. Gradually, through feedback and drills, he discovered the perfect balance of rate, length, and force. Think of it like a musician tracking every practice session and refining the timing of each note. In the same way, Sue measured the speed and force of every step. Elite sprinters have access to motion capture, force plates, and high-speed cameras. But even beginners can track and improve their frequency using cones, a stopwatch, or smartphone app. Because of this continuous monitoring and feedback loop, Sue optimized his step rate and force, reduced ground contact time, and made his turnover quicker. At the same time, he maintained his stride length, creating the perfect frequency plus speed combo. It's like updating your phone software. Every step step refined until ultimate performance is achieved. That's the real secret of Su Bing Tian. Frequency equals neural speed plus body mechanics plus force plus stiffness plus continuous feedback. Just moving your legs faster won't work. Optimizing the brain and the whole body is just as important. Su transformed his physical limitations into world-class speed. And you too can apply these principles to improve your sprinting frequency. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and share it and follow for the next one where we'll show you practical frequency drills and home level exercises.